Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Shriyamatar Sikavarin and this is the mirror of the truth with quote Friday. The first quote that I want to talk about is one of Einstein and this actually says the definition of insanity is doing something over and over again and expecting a different result. Why do we always fight against social improvement in society? More, why try we to always conserve old customs instead of challenging these ones and look if they are not outdated and quite frankly moronic? This is one for your conservatives. Why not try to conserve the biodiversity of the earth instead of conser try to conserve your own rich status, your own privilege? Get off your high horses. Get off your holy, I'm better than you attitude. Because you're not better. Just because you are white, just because you are black, just because you're um, heterosexual and homosexual or if you are B, no that does not make you anything better or worse necessary. Get this straight, being a cow or a chicken or a pig does not make you worse than be a dog or a cat. And therefore, we also should not treat them different. Do you know how that is called? Speciesism is the ideology that our species is the center. And that we have the right to discriminate against all other animals on the planet. It is species with an ism attached to it. You know, just like with race with an ism attached to it. Race. Sci the scientific definition of a race is a small mutation in a species that does not change the entire species to such degree that it is another species. For example, with wolves and dogs, there are still canines, just like we are still primates, just like chimps, we share some 98% of our DNA, DNA with them. So, basically, uh, there are of our kind. Don't be the bigot. Once in a while, white people in the United States were believing that blacks were. Con were actually sub people were the missing link so before you are thrown in the trash all the stuff I says think for a moment use that gray mass in your head for a moment you know toast how cannot reason our fools those who are refused to reason are bigots. Those who are afraid to are slave minded. Don't be a slave minded person. And don't be a passive aggressive person also. Because what if you are the victim? Imagine that you are the one group that is excluded from being treated respectfully. What if you are the one that the society deems to be a commodity? Do you not want that somebody speak up for your right to be free? And now as ours are aware, there are sentient creatures. And if you don't believe me, check out the Cambridge Declaration of Consciousness, or you can check out the news a little bit 
anytime you see a tsunami, there are most likely no stray animals and no wild animals that are dying. But but the corpses of our robotics, not aware species, are everywhere to find. For example, with the India, Sri Lanka tsunami of 2004, more than 20,000 people there when animal corpses were nearly or completely impossible. If they were not caged up, they were are far away before the tsunami struck, are flying away or going to uh, higher places because they are aware of their surroundings instead of the unthinking robots who stroll this world. When it comes to technology, we are brilliant. When it comes to awareness, we are on the same level as a dickleberry. Between somebody's butt when they are going to the toilet. When it comes to living in harmony and civilization with other living beings, we are just on the same part of par as parasites, like or viruses. We can live in harmony. But then we have to throw away our ego. Like Einstein once have said, a human being sees himself as something separate from the rest, a kind of optional delusion of consciousness. This illusion allows us to only give compassion to the ones close to us. We need to learn to free ourselves from this prison and embrace all living beings and nature in its beauty. So, <sighs> stop making excuses. Also, people, how can let you believe absurdities? Can you let, commit, uh, can let you commit atrocities? Like Voltaire once said. That's true. Hitler did let people believe absurdities. Slave masters in the United States did let people believe absurdities. We are still letting believe absurdities. For example, all the men that serious belief that women that are dressing skimpy and slightly wants to be raped all the time or be harassed, that's absurdity. Have you ever been um, brave enough to observe the absurdity of your society? The first thing I think young people should learn is to learn to think for themselves it's also old people it is okay to listen to what other people have to say but when you are going to take a position you have to weigh on the thing on the own so you can make a wise decision for yourself if you're going on with somebody say about some stuff you may find out that they let you walk west when you were thinking you were going east or you're going south when you think you are going north. So use that grey matter. Basically, and quit accept with using that grey matter. That's a quote of the great Malcolm X. How this was not perfect, but he did have some very wise things to say. I, by the way, read his whole bio. I also make made a um, video about 
what I find from it and also talk about the highlights I find in that book. You can check it out. I do look of a bit extremely wide in it because in that video, when I did make the video, it started to become a bit dark in my house. So the color of my vow also does not make me anything less white or douches. Maybe I should use the word abino because that's Latin for white. It's like the word that you don't can use uh, that black people find offensive uh, in the United States uh, means black in Latin. You know the n-word. I use them in real life because I don't know why it is offensive, but if you don't like that word, I will not use it online because I don't want to let my videos are coming to be demonetized or blocked. If you can explain to me why the word is actually offensive, but the word is a cracker not, when the word cracker comes actually from the words of the cracking of the corn, the cracker for poor working white man that did not own land. There were three that's like shit by the white landowners who did see them as second class citizens. Learn your history. Instead of picking and choosing parts you like. Because I can also play that game. Because if I go far back enough in my family tree I bet some of my ancestors were slaves of the Ottomans. Look to my eyebrows, mate. Very thick. And my fathers are even worse. So, if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Share if you like. bell and see me next time when darkness and light become well the reality is splintered away and the truth will become visible